bipedalism facilitated the fabrication and transport of tools. That bestowed such strong adaptive advantage that it accelerated bipedalism. So it's a feedback loop between the technology and the human in every sense, biological, culturally, psychologically, physically, and so forth. So if this has been going on from the beginning of the Homo sapiens species, uh, we're now in a tighter feedback loop than ever with artificial intelligence because for the first time we've invented a cognitive technology. And the way that most people understand human dominance of the planet is that humans are better cognizing than better cognizers than other species. We're not the strongest, we're not the fastest, but we can build machines that can go faster than a cheetah. We can build machines that are stronger than elephants. So it's our cognition that bestows our ability to dominate our evolutionary niche. Uh, that's the usual story. But now we've developed these powerful cognizers of synthetic artificial intelligences. If the domestication of fire had the potential to change the human species so dramatically, imagine what the invention of synthetic intelligence is going to do to change the human species. It is inevitable that we will be changed by our symbiosis with artificial intelligence or computational media in general. And it's very hard at this point to understand uh, what our future evolutionary trajectories are going to look like. But it seems to me, barring environmental collapse and other disasters of that kind, that uh, our future is certainly some kind of hybridity that we are already in a symbiotic union with uh, intelligent machines. I think that hybridity is going to become more pervasive and take different and even more influential forms in, in the future. 